I'm taking on the biggest challenge ever. Imagine me climbing the tallest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa. Cool, right? Then imagine me running really far, 40 miles, and taking super cold showers every single day. And guess what? That's just the beginning. I'm also going to do 100 push-ups every day, take time to think quietly, read some awesome books, and work on some super cool online projects for the three whole hours. Plus, I will visit the gym four times a week and do all of these after a regular 9 to 5 job. I'm going to do all these exciting things for 10 whole days. A challenge begins. The alarm sounds, but there is no snoozing today. And with a weary look, I face myself in the mirror. The day's first test is about to begin. A freezing shower, it's not just water hitting my skin, it's a wake-up call, it's not comfortable but that's the point. Finding peace, even in the chaos of the challenge, there is time to breathe, to center myself, and then go to do push-ups. Alright, this is the first day of the challenge, let's see how I'm getting on, but for now I have to go to my job. I'm gonna use the time to travel to work by reading books and listening to audiobooks and I'm gonna explain to you even better in this example. Life, it's a lot like this pencil. It starts a bit dull, a bit unrefined, but it has potential. Your skills, your strength, your finances, they are here, waiting to be shaped. This blade, it's your actions, your tools and the sweat you pour into every day. As you drag the blade across the pencil, you are shaping your life and your skills, stretching your ability and making them better but the pencil point might break and there it goes it's a chance to sharpen again just like in life you will face a setback but that's no reason to stop it's a reason to sharpen again to work harder to become even better I finished the work here so now I have to go for a run 20 miles all the way to the home I see you at the finish line I changed my clothes accordingly so when I'm ready to run, set up my tracker and let's do it. Around 70% of your target, your mind wants to find any reason for you just to stop and not finish and not hit your target. Don't listen to your mind. Finally, I'm on the last mile. It's so easy to say to do something but it's so f***ing hard to actually do it. Taking a cold shower every day can be so uncomfortable that just the thought of it makes you breathe harder. On the plus side, you'll never have to worry about your hot water bill again. Working for yourself can also be stressful, since you bear full responsibility for the results you produce. In my case, I've been occupied with building a website for dropshipping and constantly creating and editing content. Even when I am in the gym, apart from focusing on the muscles I'm training the day, I also think about what content I can create to offer value to my followers. It starts to become mentally hard because it's a lot of stuff to do and the mind wants to stop you but you have to push through it. I understand that this is just a challenge but on the other side I know that I want to continue in the same rhythm or even better. I have read a minimum of 60 pages every day. You should see my schedule. It's no excuse. Reading, it's incredibly easy. You can read on your lunch breaks. I always have an article or a book to read while I'm eating lunch. I often take a book to exercise and read in between sets. Sometimes I even keep a book in the bathroom so I can read while I take a shit. I try to read more pages than I have flushes. That might be the stupid thing I ever said on camera. But to be honest, I read usually on my way to work and back home, which is more than one hour. Also, I went to the gym for times. I don't know why, but I don't like to go there. But after I'm in the gym, I transform into an animal. The first couple of minutes and then it slows down. To be honest, it's hard to be at the gym at 9 p.m. and be ready in bed at 12 p.m. Because you have left 6 hours to sleep and you want quality sleep as well. But before gym, I have to work on a site to make money as I want to quit the 9 to 5. That means I have to use the time very productive and make the most of it. But what I'm gonna do? I will keep trying. This is not funny. It's really hard. It becomes really hard to do all this stuff while working 9 to 5 but what will face me ahead is even uncomfortable because I have left to run 20 miles and climb 163 floors. Now I'm gonna climb the highest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa, and it has 163 floors. 
I can have 54 if you want. In 10 minutes, let's go. 108 minutes 20. Now I'm up for 166, 30 minutes. Definitely I can use the lift to go downstairs. By making all these videos, I wanna prove to myself that I can push forward. So can you. It's 15.40, 8 August, 11 Friday. So I just finished the work and I'm gonna keep like on Friday running my marathon of 90 miles on top of the, that building I'm working. So I'm just starting right now to run. I'm halfway on the marathon and from this point, it's just mental battle. I have just finished the marathon. It's not easy at all. So next time that someone is gonna talk to you well, beautiful things, don't listen. You have to listen to people that are already done it before and you have to try to do it on action, but not just beautiful words, as I said. Now the challenge is over. What I have accomplished in the last 10 days, it's 900 push-ups in total. I got used with the cold showers. I have finished reading the book on finance. I've listened to multiple podcasts. I have run 40 miles in total. I have climbed 167 floors. I went to gyms four times and I became more disciplined and I have fixed a new brick to my character. If you find this video useful, hit that subscribe button and I will make sure I'm gonna post more content like this and even more available. I'll see you in the next video.